All right, today we're going to talk about FuelPiece's network of test tools that can do a full system wireless analysis. In the background here, we got the SC57 digital multimeter, the S-Man 4, this is for your condenser and your superheat and subcooling. Then we got the new SDP2 that can take four measurements off your indoor coil. All the products you see can send all their measurements wirelessly to the HG3 to do a full system wireless analysis. Alright, now I want to go over all the measurements that are actually being sent to the HG3. So first we got return dry bulb, return wet bulb, and supply dry bulb. All those are being sent from the SDP2. The SDP2 is basically a dual induct psychrometer that has two probes, one for the return duct and one for the supply duct, and it's taking four measurements and then sending those measurements to the HG3. Then I have my refrigerant. My refrigerant is actually being sent wirelessly from the S-Man 4. So I, type, I plug in what the refrigerant is on my system to the S-Man 4, and the S-Man 4 tells the HG3 uh, what to display and what to use for the PT charts. Then we got rated amps that actually just be pulled off of the, uh, the system itself. And then uh, for the Yes Man 4, we're also doing suction line pressure and suction line temperature. Those are for your superheat calculations. Then we got liquid line pressure and liquid line temperature. Those are for your subcooling calculations. Then we have outdoor dry bulb. Outdoor dry bulb is being sent from an external uh, sensor with a wireless transmitter and this is sending wirelessly to the S-Man 4 and the S-Man 4 is sending that wirelessly to the HG3. And then last I got condenser amp draw. This is being sent from the SC57. Obviously I don't have it hooked up and so I have a zero amp draw. I'm like going through my clamp at the moment. But that is, all, that is sending that zero amperage to my HG3. Now once I have all the information in my HG3 and actually the products in the background actually hooked up to systems, I can press the output button and it'll actually give me corrective actions to take on, on the system, such as low refrigerant charge, you need to add refrigerant or you know or what have you. Um, and then with that test I can save it onto the HG3 and download it to a PC and print it out for customer tracking. So that's just an overview of what the Fuel Pieces wireless network of test tools can do. But what I want to do is go over the SDP2 since none of you have seen it yet. All right, now let's get a closer look at the SDP2. This is a dual induct psychrometer and it has two probes, one for the return and one for the supply. And basically, this is your delta T tool on steroids. So uh, what it measures is it measures a, re a dry bulb and a relative humidity on each of the probes and then can perform a few calculations uh, for you live. So let's just kind of go over the display and check that out. So right now I'm just in the dry bulb mode measuring 70 degrees on the return and 70 degrees on the supply just because they're in the same room. And then uh, to check out the different uh, parameters, I just press the parameter button. So I got dry bulb, relative humidity. Those two measurements are used to calculate wet bulb and dew point as well as uh, BTULB, which is basically your enthalpy on either side of the evaporator coil. Then we have, uh, let's go back to dry bulb. All right. Then we have the, uh, the hold, the delta, and the min and max button right here. So uh, right now I'm just reading it live. Right now I'm holding it because I got the hold in my screen. Then we have the delta. So this is your delta T, um, the normal delta T. If I put one in the return, one supply, make one of them a little bit warmer than the other one, and you'll see my delta T live right there. And you can see these thermistors are pretty fast and it gets back to room temperature pretty quickly. Then I got the max and the min on either side, and then hold it and I can get out, get back to the live function. 
All right, what this also can do is target evaporator exit temperature test and target delta T. And I get into those modes by pressing this button. So when you press it once, it puts you into target evaporator exit temperature test. And what this is telling you is what the air temperature should be exiting the temperature. So target evaporator exit temperature. And in this scenario, I'm basically giving it a wet bulb and a dry bulb on my return side, and it's telling me that my target evaporator exit temperature should be 54 degrees. And what this is saying is how far I'm off. So I'm 18 degrees above that 54 degrees, which in this case is about 73, 74 degrees in here. And so that would make sense. Now on the target delta T, I can put it up here. And this is basically saying, based on the conditions I'm giving it of the return wet bulb and the return dry bulb, my temperature drop should be 17 degrees. So those two tests are roughly, they're basically the same test, just formatted differently. And when you actually put it in the supply, it'll, it'll um, you know, give you what your, how, how, how much cooler your evaporator is cooling your, from your return to your supply. So that is the basic functions of the SDP2. Lastly, I got the little power button that turns, also turns the backlight on and off, and the wireless sync button to sync it to the HG3 or the S-Man 4 as you saw previously. Alright, check it out, your local distributor.